वेलकम टू नरेश आई टी दिस इज किशोर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू हाउ टू डिफाइन द मेम्बर फंक्शन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कसड हाउ टू डिफाइन ए मेम्बर फंक्शन ओके इन सी प्लस प्लस वी कैन डिफाइन द मेम्बर फंक्शन इन टू वेज वी हैव डिस्कसड वन इज इन साइड द क्लास एंड अदर वन इज आउट साइड द क्लास एंड इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव कवर्ड हाउ टू डिक्लेयर इन साइड एंड हाउ टू डिक्लेयर आउट साइड नाउ i am going to give you one fair example on function definition okay i am going to continue with the uh, one fair example now first of all in c++ we are going to declare header files okay for any programming language like c and c++ first topic is what header file declaration that's why first i am going to start header file declaration first thing hash include io stream dot h because of in our program we are going to use c out and uh, c in object c out and c in object and you know that the c out c in object belongs to i was stream dot h okay next now hash include conio dot h now it is the clr cr get ch function we are going to use in our program that's why i was stream dot h is for what purpose that is nothing but c out and c in next conio dot h is l r s c r and get c h now i am going to start the class generally class started like this class stu now semicolon actually it is called class declaration because of in class also we are having two stages one is declaration and second one definition now it is called class declaration and when the body is also continued it is called definition and both are not mandatory means here declaration is not mandatory when the body is continued okay there is no need of class declaration now class stu is declared later i am going to start like this class stu now brackets open now the point is already i said this one is not mandatory because of immediately we are going to continue suppose you are going to continue the class in somewhere then it is mandatory okay but we are going to continue immediately no that's why it is not compulsory next class student and here i am not going to mention the private or public or protected because of default is private okay fine later int id character name of 20 now id and name are what private data members id and name are private data member next to access this private data member i am going to use void read student it is the member function void read student next one more function i want to use that is show student but here i want to give you both uh, one is inside one is outside that's why here i am going to do like this c out enter student id comma name next c in id name brackets close now watch this here function declaration started and continued that's why now it is function definition and right now where it is conducted inside the class okay it is conducted inside the class next another one void show student here i want to display the student data now see this semicolon ended means here it is function definition and here it is function declaration okay that's why here the definition is completed within the class but here not completed means i want to conduct the function definition outside the class now how to conduct this function definition outside the class now i am going to continue the definition outside the class okay actually the rule is what first return data type now this function return data type void next which class it is available student class student colon colon function name is what show student and no argument no empty brackets that's why what happens 
now void is the return type, student is the class name, show student is the member function. Now, it indicates what show student is the member of student class next. Now, here I am going to print the data see out student id equal to now id and l and l gives what next line that is why first it is the text as it is, it is going to print ok after this id number printed next see out name now name also printed nothing to print that is why I am going to close now it is the function definition it is the function definition ok just observe this here it is the function declaration ok and here it is a function definition which is completed within the class and here it is the function declaration and this function definition is conducted in this area which is outside the class now function declaration definition completed now the third stage is what calling generally calling is conducted from main function that is why void main now I am going to start the main now in main function what we have to do first we have to create the object because of we have to allocate the memory now that is why stu yes object ok when object is created what happens memory allocated it is the id it is the name, it is the read student and it is the show student ok. Now, here yes and it is the stack. Now, what happens here 2 bytes memory, here 20 bytes. Now, the data members are id and name now to access this data member we are using read student and show student. Now, 22 bytes memory is allocated for this object ok. Later we have to call the read student that is why clr sr screen clear s dot read student it is going to do what now the read student function is invoked actually read student function body available here that is why your compilation moved to here ok. Now from here first see out enter student id name c in c in is nothing but scan f now that means it is waiting for the input and now the user is entering some values now that some values are going to store in id and name that is why here some value is entered for example 101 and ravi for example that 101 ravi they are going to be stored inside the id and name which are available inside the stack inside the s variable means object ok and s dot read student is completed input process completed now we have to print this data ok input process completed now we have to print this data that is why s dot show student now s dot show now show student means this one first student id is printed later name that is why output process also completed at last get ch to stop the screen for watching output and program also completed actually this part is called function calling this part is called function calling now watch it declaration completed definitions completed and calling now it is the complete picture of a class means how to call the class members, how to declare the class, how to define the class members, how to call the call class members ok. It is the example for class declaration ok. Thank you for watching in this session we are going to continue some more.